That's do what you, I mean. Do you want to watch the video? Yeah, we'll do it. We'll watch it together. The B side word. I had a guy get me a Benz before and put me in a loft space and, you know, set my whole life up differently than what it was normally. And I feel like if you brought me to like this level, and then we didn't work out, but we're still friends, you know, we don't we didn't have beef and no one cheated. It was just didn't work out. Um, but I still ex I, I wasn't going to move from my space because it didn't work out. I wasn't going to give him back my car because I'm not going to downgrade my lifestyle because me and you are no longer together. And I just feel like if you put me in this space and that was under your budget then, what's the difference now? You know what I mean? Because you were my girlfriend. I was fucking you. Yeah, but I just... I was fucking I you. Just feel, yeah, but I personally feel like, no, I'm not yeah, moving. But see, <laughs> but see, what he did was this, though. He gave you the upgrade, but part of that upgrade is because you're with me. Yeah. You understand? So, so let me just go though. So we didn't work out me and you dating. You feel me? So I'm supposed to keep paying your loft and keep paying your bins. Now I get it. You're a true boss if you do that. And that's the the vibe we're getting. But Jazz, No, it's just I'm not moving. And you, you're gonna have to if deal you with it. Either stay way, upgraded, you have to pay stay with me. It. If not, go see what's out there. Oh, so then that. So then if that's the case, so yeah. you want me to stay with you for these items and use you, basically. Not for them. If you want to live like this, it comes with being with me. Okay. So, so then so then you would prefer a woman to just stay with you for her items and her lifestyle. My lifestyle is now contingent. My current new lifestyle that you upgraded me to is now contingent on me being in a relationship with you, and that's the only way I can have it in this moment. Then what then stops should, me then you from just get married, staying then, with Jazz, you for that? Then Jazz, you want him to keep your lifestyle up, keep paying your bills, keep you on that same upgraded level. No, you were dating a man that had money, so dating him came with a lifestyle. But if we're not working and our love is dead, I don't owe you to keep paying your, your car note and your mortgage. Entitled. I'm not entitled to. Now, if I'm that rich, then okay. But entitled, realistically, though. that isn't really my job. You should find you an, a man like me and upgrade to him and, and keep your because lifestyle. That takes, that takes time. So I just feel like if someone had me on a certain pedestal, you're not just because I we no longer working you're not just gonna rip the pedestal from me like or i'm gonna feel a type of way and just as petty and ruin them things i'm gonna ruin so, the car i'm gonna trash the house sponsor gonna, you sponsor you make, until you move on not until i move on but give me you until know until you I more time what what the f <laughs> what <laughs> what the hell she what was the... like adamant uh, she was like Wait, are we are we going yeah, we're going. She was firm in her position. Yeah, she was. Uh... And her position was slutty. Huh. Well. So is that the same as if you were married? No. Elab uh, elaborate. <laughs> when you're married, it's 50-50. Mm. Even if someone's paying for everything, it's still 50-50. Mm. If you divorce legally, it's 50-50. I don't know about all countries around the world, but. I agree with that because I agree with that because the man gets to uh, pursue his career and and then the woman holds down everything in his personal life. I agree with that. Yeah, when or married. vice versa. I, th but I think I think regardless of that, even from what you input and output, if you choose to get married, like marry marriage is literally a contract. Like you don't have to get married. That's the moment you choose to get married, you're agreeing that everything's fifty fifty. That's true. That's true. Like, it is a contract. It's an actual legally binding contract. Unless like, you get a prenup. Still. But that's from that's for that's divorce. That's not for marriage, is it? Yeah. But yeah. But the, still going into marriage, you still put like a clause saying Yeah, with yeah the sorry, prenup. but I meant like I meant when you're in the marriage. In the marriage, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, 100%. yeah, yeah. Yeah, hundred percent. Everything yeah. before is yours still. Yeah. yeah. Uh this is just craziness. And I can't believe how adamant she was. And she was like, no, <laughs> no, this is my money. It's and you're going to keep I me on this pedestal. It's definitely fear. So can I put a perspective out there okay. and, and sort of challenge the way you see this? Because I'm going to be honest, when I saw this, my first reaction was like, entitled much? Like, what? <laughs> this this yeah. is crazy for anyone to think like this. But something I like to do personally is especially when i see something that has that gives me like a visceral reaction that's opposite to what they're saying is i try my best to put myself in their shoes and see how they came to that conclusion mm -hmm. walk me through so it, i'm gonna mate. do it walk i'm gonna me do through it with this. <laughs> but i'm gonna caveat this with 
I'm gonna say this in a much nicer way and put and explain this in a much better way than she did, and I don't believe this is her actual situation, but just, just okay, we'll go through it. So, take me and my girlfriend at the moment. My girlfriend currently lives with her friend in her friend's house, mm-hmm. but we're moving in together. Mm-hmm. So, if let's just say I was making a ton of money, we weren't going to be moving in together, but I'm like what are you doing living with your like you deserve your own space Mm -hmm. like this is silly you don't need to be living with someone i'm gonna get you somewhere Mm -hmm. so then she moves in somewhere not i haven't bought the house but i'm i'm renting it and i'm paying all the bit i'm like don't you worry i'm gonna pay everything that's fine so now she's in that situation and i'm like your car like (laughs) you're driving a yaris what are you what are you doing driving have a tesla like this is stupid (laughs) Uh, don't worry, I'll pay the monthly payment. Like, I've got it. I'll pay the insurance, all that kind of stuff. So mm. then, in that, she she could, like, let's say the place I've got her has one parking space. Like, she could keep her car, but the chances are she's going to get rid of her car because what's the point in her holding onto a car? She's not driving, paying the tax on it, paying the insurance, all that kind of stuff. She might as well get rid of her car. Mm-hmm. so now you've been with her for six months six months later she's living in this property she's driving that car and then all of a sudden i go now nah, i'm done with you i'm out that now leaves her in a situation that she doesn't have anywhere to live she doesn't have the car mm-hmm. like if i'm just ripping that out from her mm-hmm. now again i want to say i'm not putting this over in the same way that the woman was in any way shape or form but just trying to put yourself in a situation yeah. where if you've been gifted these things, there could be a circumstance where it could be perceived harsh. To I got some questions that from that person. I got some questions, but Go. CJ. Yeah, Siege. Is the reason why you wanted to get her another car is because you don't fit in a Yaris? <laughs> 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 Giving context, he's six foot five. <laughs> so... Alexander, if she chose to leave, does she still get the same... Like, are you still giving her the same benefits? What a good question. Okay. When you ask this, how do you want... Do you want me to answer the question you're asking? Or do you want me to give my actual perspective on what I said? Because I can still tear apart my argument. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. No, no. I'm just like... (laughs) if If it's from... The, like if they left amicably and then they came to an understanding of like, you know what, I, d- I don't have a car now. I sold my car. And then like they left in, on good terms and it's like, all right, I get it. You don't have to leave, but know that you, you're you going to have to leave. Mm-hmm. I'll give you some time. I'll give you some time. I get that. But like yeah. to have the <laughs> have the mindset like, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> That's her, that, that was her. That and was if, her mindset. I would be interested to know where she was before that, but that was definitely her mindset. Like, no, you owe me now. You put me here. You keep me. Like, I feel I like deserve I'm, to stay here. I feel like it was fight or flight for her. I have a question because mm. when Alexander was telling that story from her shoes, it made me think. Right, so Dev and I, after two months. I want to say I moved in with him because he was like my lease was ending and he was like why bother like releasing why don't you just move in with me and my family type thing so let's say I moved in with you Dev Mm. and then we broke up what would have happened I don't even think about this ever broke up (laughs) let's say we broke up I had moved in so now I don't have an apartment yeah because you're like come with me and then we broke up yeah what happens to me then? Uh, first off, I'm calling my boys because we're going out to party, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then, okay. um, I'll have to think about it. Hang on a sec. See, <laughs> what do you have to say? Um, f- first thing, um, it'll be hard for Ernest to find another place to live because most likely this, the family will keep you, not him. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's not that's actually not um that's not too far from the truth yeah now so, but back then no no even back then so my family knowing my family they wouldn't let me just kick you out they, they, there's no chance in hell they would have said um they would have said they would have told me to go to my grandma's house until you had your back on your feet to go and find a place and all that stuff there was no way like is and like to be honest 
I, I'm not that kind of guy. Like, if I know you got nowhere to go, and I've put you, like, it's, what am I going to do? Go, go on the street? It's the last thing I want. I, I, in general, I don't like see people in like. No, I know. I in know, um, I know. in a in harm and that depends on the situation though. Yeah. Okay, same story. Mm. Let's say someone cheated. Yeah. Yeah. Would would you would you then not want to see them on the street? <laughs> no, I still I still yeah. wouldn't want to see him on the street, but it would just because. I I just be I'm like miserable until sh- like the situation eased off. Mm. Uh, mm. Yeah, but like I'm pretty sure if uh, uh, like you know if your part if your girlfriend cheated and she was living with you and your family, your family's not gonna want her around either. I wouldn't tell them because I kn- I know what my family would do. Kick you out? I'll, I'll, I'll be, I'll, I'll, I'll be, uh, yeah. Hey, you'd ha- you'd have to kick her out. You have to give her some time. Say you got. Two days to get your shit and get the fuck out. Yeah. You know what? I, it's hard for me because, like, it's too much. It's a hard question. I can't put myself in that situation. No, this is true. You wouldn't kick me out. I know you. So, to address both that and your situation, there's something that no one's mentioned that was when... Because I had this conversation with Judy last night because I showed her the video. And I immediately contradicted my own thing with... To be fair, if that is the case where now you're in that situation, you're her and you're living in this house and you have this car that you're not paying for, unless, like, you're really stupid with your money, you should have a good kit of your savings. Yeah, Because you have true. no expenses. Yeah. <laughs> no serious ones. Mm-hmm. So, like, even in your situation, if you, in that case, like, you would have had savings that, if it came to well, we're broken up now, and it's like you need you don't have a place to live, but it shouldn't take you that long to find one with the amount of money you have. Mm-hmm. Good point. I never thought of that angle. No, none of and, us did. And I do, I do just want to clarify as well. Like I painted out what I think is a more forgiving situation than what she painted out, but I think her what she was saying like i the, the thing that caught me as well is is her um well if if you're not going to pay for it i'm going to trash the car and trash oh, the house oh yeah and stuff. Like, <laughs> yeah we didn't even comment on that part yeah <laughs> i mean there's yeah. girls that actually do that i was watching a uh, something and um i was watching vanderpump rules and then the guy cheated and then she like just trash, like got all his clothes, put them in a massive pile, drank all his really expensive champagne. I can't remember what it's called or really expensive liquor. And then like put cigarette butts all in it and like, yeah, just vengeful. Is is that girl single? She's my type. <laughs> <laughs> my kind of girl. What's the comment saying on this? Did you read any? Oh. Yeah, there's a brilliant one. I forgot about this. There's one that goes, so they, they said they would love to ask her, so how would you feel if while you were together, he was still paying for all this stuff for his ex? Oh. oh that's a great question. Yes. That uh, is a great question. Yeah. Yeah. That is. Oh, wow. Yes. How would I feel? Yeah. Nah, that would have got a... I know if I was doing it, I would feel broke. <laughs> you wouldn't feel broke. I would because I'm paying for two girls' apartment, two girls' cars. Yeah, you wouldn't, Which, okay, you wouldn't feel broke. Ask... You, you would be broke. <laughs> You're not feeling broke. Yeah. <laughs> Can I ask the... So there's obviously people that do do this, like the sugar daddies, the sugar mummies. Is that what they're called? Mummies? Mm-hmm. Sugar mummies. Um, now they know... Maybe it's different for each one, but do they have like a stipulation that if I am giving you all this stuff, you're only you you can only be with me, or do they know that it's an arrangement? It the, depends the, on the arrangement. Yeah, there's some so some that do stipulate you. that. Yeah, and then some. It's like when you're with me, you're with me, and then when you're not with me, you do you. Wow. And there are some, there are some that stipulate like, <laughs> this is, 
when I was in London, early on, I went on a date with a girl who had messages from a guy who wanted to be her sugar daddy. What? And she was showing me them. It's just, I was just like, this was the first time it, it was in my real life context that I'd seen this. Like I'd seen on the internet and stuff, but to someone actually show me, yeah, like these are the messages from someone trying wow. to get them. He's like, look, I'll pay you, I'll pay for your rent, I'll pay for your bills, and I'll pay you this much. I think it was like a thousand pound per month. I'll pay wow. you this. You have to be with only me, but I've got multiple of you. Like, there's, there's other girls. Yeah, right. So he's paying $1,000 a month for multiple. But the thing is, if you're... On top of their bills. On top of their bills, like Destiny's Child. <laughs> but, like, if you don't even know this person, you wouldn't even care, right? Like, let's say you were a struggling person. You have to like- do... Sh- you still have to do shit. Mm. You can't just, like... Okay, but what if they actually? Wait, wait. What if that? Wait, wait, person- wait, 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 wait. You think he's just giving you money, and you're like, "Oh, cool." Wait, what if the person <laughs> you are actually like attracted to, like, "Oh, actually, you're actually all right." Like, it's different if you're not. But you have to be uh, um be all right with like him having multiple of you. Yeah. So, but this is what I'm saying. Like, let's say you didn't go to the supermarket and your eyes locked and you fell in love, type, or you didn't have that instant whatever, mm. and he's just reached out over, um social media and let's say you're a single mum or you're struggling through uni or whatever it might be and like yeah you want to pay for me yeah (laughs) okay you can pay for me are you all right with him having multiple partners yeah because you have no attachment to that person yeah but you still have to do stuff for him I, don't, I think you're missing mm. the doing stuff with yeah, him yeah maybe i'm missing i think the you're just seeing the money and I, then going i don't have to do anything so yeah, i think okay. you're both missing mm. i think you're both saying the right thing because Emma is definitely missing what you have to do for that money. Yes. But that still doesn't stop people from doing it. Like, but if like, you're no, in that situation that Emma's no, painting, like, yep. there, are, there are people who, who want to be sugar babies. Like, that's yes. their aim because they're in a struggling situation. Um, I have a question. Mm-hmm. Like, Alexander, now, if you met a girl who used to be a sugar baby, <laughs> could, you, could you still date her? Oh, I don't know if Julie would be happy. <laughs> <laughs> let's say you, let's say you and Julie were together, and you met this Ooh. young lady. She seems quite nice, but then you found out that she was a sugar baby. Would you still date her? Content. I'd need. I'd need to know what was her arrangement. Why yep. did she do it? Before yep. I would judge, because, yeah. like, I, look, I've been there in terms of I've been struggling financially. And the more when you're in a when you're in a situation where you're really struggling financially, the things you're willing to do for money are completely different. I'm not saying that like, I did anything. I'm just saying like the things that you would consider an entire like I, for example, when I worked um, in central London and the, there was this club that we went to that was across the road. It was basically like this really high scale club. We had no business being there. I only went in there a couple of times. Like you should be wearing like a three-piece suit kind of deal. Oh, wow. In there, there are women specifically looking for a sugar daddy. Sugar daddy. And there are women specifically looking for a sugar baby. And when I found that out, I was like, I, look, I'm not going to hunt one, but I wouldn't mind bumping into one. Like, I, I'm not. Because <laughs> some of us... The bigger cub. <laughs> Some of them, they just want you to go to dinner with them. That's like, what yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. Like, if it's just like, come to dinner with me, like... That's like, all right then. <laughs> but like, okay. if it was I am anything- not gonna, A man's point of view, that if he's paying for your car, your house and all that shit, he wants more yeah. than that. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. I hate to, be, hate to be the one to tell you, but yeah. It was definitely he wants more than dinner. Hmm. Can I, um, uh, can I uh, just ask Alexander what the uh, secret code was for the baby mamas? <laughs> was, it, was it like for the baby mamas? Uh, yeah, you were the, the sh- baby. The sugar mamas. You were the sugar mamas. Uh, you were the sugar baby. Yeah, and the sugar mamas are like, wah wah, wah, <laughs> wah, <laughs> wah. <laughs> oh my god! Just whispering in the ear, go wah wah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I feel the strange like this... thing is, he doesn't want to tell you how to wear, how to wear a diaper. <laughs> oh, 
yeah. had one of those big um, rattles, rattles. A, a dummy. <laughs> She wanted she wanted him to go um, pee pee and poo poo in his little little pot. Can, no. can we clarify? I was never actually a sugar baby. Yeah, I sure. do feel like sure, it happens what, more than what they we all know. Say. I think it's it's a world that we're not a part of. Yeah, I feel like. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, going now back to being on her side, not her side, but the side that I painted earlier when I said like the savings. As again, like if you were in a situation where this person loved the power dynamic and they said, don't work, I'll pay for everything. Mm. Mm. Then again, that, that kind of puts you in a bad situation. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's reflect, the entitlement is reflective of, there's another conversation I watched earlier this week where there are these three girls who do OnlyFans who were talking about the money they make and everything and like how much of a bag they have and stuff. And the guy was like, but you understand this is temporary. Like what are you doing with your money and what are you doing for yourself to make sure that you survive the temporary? Mm-hmm. Like when the temporary ends. And they couldn't understand the point of view that this isn't a permanent solution to their money. Mm-hmm. Like this this won't go on forever. Regardless of whether only fans goes on forever, people mm-hmm. aren't going to pay to watch them forever. Yeah. Um, but I think it's that obliviousness to what it means to financially manage yourself. Mm-hmm. I think they, the same with this woman here. Like they, they just see, they see it as like this certainty of, but I've been there. It's it doesn't make sense for me to go back. Like it's not what you're saying doesn't happen to people like that's just not how it works do you know what i mean like it's, it's mm-hmm. i don't know it's just a bit i want to see i want to know what this show is is this on um love and hip-hop or something i have no idea i just saw the toy clip it's um i i guess i think you're it's comparing to like um you know those superstars like the rise to fame like they were 18 and they were prodigies and they like whatever league it is whether it be baseball basketball whatever and they hit the heights really early like there's this superstar they're like this is the new coming right and all of a sudden like whether they get injured or they get a bad coach or their teammates and they go through a rough patch and they have to they go down like their stock goes down but they're, they're in their head they're thinking no no i'm still that 18 year old superstar i'm still on the rise where it's like no man you have to come back down realize where you are reset yourself and then start again and i think i think this girl is like no i'm here now but not not realizing she has to start again Mm -hmm. and maybe not rely on someone else uh, uh, coming externally to push her up to that same status but um look internally to get to that status because then she'll be the real boss Mm -hmm. and it's like I don't know. It's just, yeah, it's weird. It's just that the human human nature, right? Agree. 